Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Tech Nugget, Tech Nugget channel. This channel is dedicated for quick and short videos on the daily programming problems for super busy programmers. Today I am going to talk about fast API. Um, before I go there, when I say super busy programmers, usually these videos like less than 5 minutes so that uh, just a quick glance you can get some of your problem solved or something maybe you can learn something new okay let's get into this fast api so what is fast api the fast api is a modern and high performance web, web framework used for building apis with python 3.6 this is one of the fastest python framework today is available to create a web framework right so let's talk about it right so what are the salient features it has got one is it's, as it name suggests it's fast right it's 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 fast api it's really very fast that's all, what we are talking about very high performance comparatively with we can compare with uh, node.js and go and also it's uh, easy to code and in in fact fast to code the reason is it's uh, quite intuitive and there is a typing hint provided and uh, it's uh, easy to learn it doesn't have a lot of uh, docs and other one is one the, the one of the major problem when we see as a uh, api programming or web programming the documentation is one of the hardest part so this particular framework it's impressively uh, it's a default out of the box it supports for your open standards like uh, open api basically the swagger people knows about swagger out of the box you can see your all of your function as swagger command directly you can test it there okay and uh, this particular ap framework is based on starlet so the starlet when you talk about it that's one of the lightweight lightweight ASCII framework which is ideal for building high performance async io services so you combine async io and the web that's how you get this fast ap right so you look at the starlet features right so it's really this itself is because um super fast seriously impressive performance and also it's got a lot of um, modern uh, gears like a uh, web socket graphql in process uh, background tasks start and shut down uh, events and um, the test client is based on request and also it's it has a support for cores gzip static files streaming responses session and cookie support it's quite good right it has everything in it it comes with the battery included just get started um you should be able to do it okay um it's coding time let's get into the code so what are the required thing when we do this so first of all you need to have a python 3.6 plus if you have python 8 also 3.6 3.6 7 8 whatever it's it's fine um then we need to have a fast api and a uv icon so let me take you to the code i'm going to use the pycharm for this and also i have created a virtual environment so one thing is i can go to terminal I can see already I've installed, but however I can show you. So for, what is the first requirement we are talking about is uh, if install fast API. That's one. The second one is pip install UV icon. And also obviously your Python version should be 3.6 and above. Okay let's go ahead and start okay let's uh, make a welcome program okay um, i created a python program called uh, fast ap test server let's quickly just I'll, I'll code it from here right Fast API and uh, initialize app 
with uh, fast API. Uh, yeah, that's it. Two lines of code. Now ready to define a method. I'll say one is a welcome method. Let's say let's create a welcome method, right? So if anyone worked on Flask, ideally it should be familiar. However, it is much much easier than Flask, by the way, because there we have a, a Flask signature itself is different. And here by default you are saying what type of method is a get all our HTTP syntax get hook post delete all that will be covered as a declaration itself in here okay let's uh, say def it's going to be it's not a async I'm going to write as a sync uh, if I want to introduce async uh, I just have to include a word async def okay so I'll say welcome return just I'll return welcome world it's supposed to be a JSON that's fine okay um, that's it we need to run this so make sure that it is one minute Sorry, guys, there's a typo. So let's, uh, there's no parameters there. Okay. Let's run it. So the running of the server is quite easy. Uh, it has to run with the UV icon. UV icon then name of the file that is your first test first api test server colon the app icon icon reload when you say icon icon reload basically it is whenever you make any change it automatically loads it done so it started let's test it so it's running on 8080 8000 sorry 8000 let's go and check localhost colon Tada. so you you have welcome world it's it's Pretty impressive anyway nothing is in it so just returns it let's have another method which basically takes your name and returns it back right so it's called greed we'll say greed it's supposed to be a get the name is uh, greed and name it takes one parameter for your name whatever the name you give great oh, and str so if if you are um, familiar with python you are you may be a little wondering here what is the str basically that's a plus of this particular framework where you use it gives you the type hinting basically it will give you the type of that variable basically uh, python is a that type it's it's a uh, not such as a strong typing language but this gives you flexibility of adding your strength or typing which basically helps when you when you are passing the parameters um, on the what type of parameter for example if someone gives a name uh, very cryptic name which you can't understand but by knowing the data type it's easy for you to understand that okay let's return it return and name 
that's it so if you see here it's already started I'm going here say create and say Kumar right welcome Kumar it's done okay that's all for this nugget thank you very much thank you